Hi, I'm Eva. I'm from the Red Green Alliance in Denmark. Uh, here in Denmark, we've been living under emergency measures since March 12th, uh, and with pretty good results, it seems. Uh, the number of deaths are less than 400, and uh, the capacity in the hospital seems to be okay. So now the country is slowly opening up. For me, that means, for example, that my daughter started school on Wednesday, along with all the lower grades. And my two sons, uh, they get to start kindergarten on Monday. Um, I still work from home, like most public employees. Um, so it was very lucky to even get a spot. Uh, demands are uh, definitely higher than the capacity right now. Um, the, one of the big debates right now in Denmark has to do with uh, ownership of vaccine production. Uh, in Denmark, the na uh, Social Democratic government sold off our uh, nationally owned, state-owned uh, vaccine production in 2016. Uh, with the votes of, of course, the, the right wing, but also the Greens. Um, it means, of course, now that we can't control production. Um, but it also means a public loss of a minimum of 200 million euros. Um, and this situation has really outlined that we really need to have publicly owned vaccine research and production. Um, imagine a situation uh, where all countries had a state-owned vaccine production. We would be able to, to share the research and we could get the production done as fast as possible instead of competing against each other, which is what is happening right now in the private market. Uh, it would also mean that we could sell the, the vaccine at affordable prices so that not only the rich countries but also the poorest countries could have access to the vaccine. Um, and I, I really hope that this situation, uh, as bad as it is, it could start a global uh, debate about this issue so that the next time we're hit with a pandemic we won't be in this situation. So that's it for Denmark. Uh, take care. Oh, my God.